This, I think, the last two are the two that I think are like the silver bullets in this. The absolute ultimate in taking your learning to the highest level possible using automation and, and AI. Number 11 is use it to explore the Socratic method, as in Socrates. It's probably the most enshrined form of education in society, yet most people don't know what it is. And, and most people, when you say Socratic method, they don't even necessarily connect it to Socrates. And there's a concept in the Socratic education that you have somebody act as a Socrat. That would be a stand-in for Socrates. And, and the way that Socrates approached this was, you bring me an idea, a thought, a concept that you are convinced is true or you believe is true or a definition for a thing. And even if I agree with you, I will debate you. I will take the opposite side of the debate and I will make you think deeply about why you're choosing the words that you're choosing, let alone whether the concept's real or not. So if you, you were to say something, the real meaning of, then a Socrat would come back with, well, hold on. Before we go doing all this, what do you mean by real? How does real apply to this? What is real? Explain it. Now, this is not an adversarial debate. This is the kind of debate we should be having in academia, in science, in media, and politics today. Each side respects the other, right? Each side respects the other's viewpoint. And it's not about winning. It's about coming to the best answer possible. And generally speaking, at the end of it, it's not even the two sides disagree. You're to the point where maybe we really don't understand this thing the way that we think we do yet.